maximum value. And there indeed is the parabola of y equals x plus 2 times x minus 4. Okay? So you'll notice that, once again, if we draw our axis of symmetry, it goes through the vertex. Goes right through that vertex. And it also goes through that point of 1 on the x-axis, okay? So that is the x value of 1 on the x-axis, okay? And the x-coordinate of the vertex is also 1. Those two values will always be the same, okay? One last example, and then we'll be done with this one. Okay. Sketch the graph of y equals negative 1 over 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 7. Okay. So we want to be able to sketch that graph. We first need the x-intercepts, which we can tell by looking, are 3 and 7. Okay. So our r and s values are 3 and 7. To calculate the axis of symmetry, that's equal to r plus s divided by 2. So that's 3 plus 7 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2, which equals 5. So x equals 5 is our axis of symmetry. Okay? x equals 5 represents a vertical line going through 5 on the x-axis. Okay. So, so far what we know, let me just do another rough sketch of the parabola. So we know that our x-intercepts are at 3 and 7. This time I think the parabola will actually be opening down, so my drawing will be a little more accurate this time. Okay. We know the middle of 3 and 7 is at 5. So the axis of symmetry is going to go through that midpoint, okay? It's going to go through the midpoint of the x of the x-intercepts. It's also going to go going to go through the vertex, okay? Because by definition, the axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through the vertex. So if that is a value of five. The middle of 3 and 7 is 5, so that means the every point on this line is going to have an x value of 5. So that means the vertex must also have a value of 5. Okay? We don't yet know the y value of this vertex. It could be anywhere on this line. Let's go ahead and figure out where exactly on that line it is. So we know the equation of... Um, of our quadratic, I think, is negative 1 over 2 x minus 3 x minus 7 times x minus 3 times x minus 7. Our vertex, we figured out, was at 5 and something. We don't know that y value yet. Okay? We know x is 5, but we don't know y. So we can go ahead and plug when x is 5 into our equation, it'll tell us what y is equal to. So plug in 5 for x. Good. Use our algebra skills. We get negative 1 over 2 times 2 times negative 2. We're going to need some more room here. y is equal to negative 1 half times 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2, a negative times a negative, gives us a positive. So the y-coordinate of our vertex is y equals 2. The x-coordinate of our vertex is 5. What we do now is plug 2 in for the y-value and write the coordinate of our vertex. So our vertex is 5 and then plug 2 in for y. There we go. Our vertex is at 5, 2. So our last step here is to actually sketch this parabola. In order to sketch it accurately, we need to plot the x-intercepts. So those are x equals 3 and x equals 7. So put those on roughly. Let's say that's about 3. That's about 7. 
and I told us the vertex, or we solved actually, we solved that the vertex was at 5, 2. Okay, plot that point. So 5 is halfway between 3 and 7. And then up 2, let's say that's 0.52. connect the dots with our smooth curve, and there's the sketch of that parabola. And we know this axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, and it also goes through the midpoint of 3 and 7, which is at 2 on the x-axis. Okay, So there we go. We're all done. That's the end of this lesson. If you need any more, for, any more clarification, let me know. Um, if you're still having trouble with figuring out why we need to find the axis of symmetry to help us with the vertex, just rewind to the beginning of the video and listen to that explanation again. Other than that, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully we'll be ready to move on to the next section of working with parabolas in factored form, where we're going to be given the graph and then have to write the equation. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you guys.